yeah, that is a so long time as well. Yeah. Mind you, he, he has won a couple of Grand Nationals. <laughs> in this marsh hurdle, registered as the long walk as they run towards the first, the world's end, from the Mayor Papagana, Agrapar in third, and Lamy Serge was just slightly slow into stride and held up at the back as he usually in his, is in his races. Returning from a long absence today, Lamy Serge as they race on towards the second, the world's end, over in front from Papagana, Agrapar in third, and Lamy Serge. Quite a run now until they're required to leave the ground again. The world's end has been in good form this season, a winner at Weatherby first time out, and then third to Paisley Park at Newbury. Hitherto thought best suited by drier conditions, but handles the soft well. Papagana in second place, getting her seven pounds allowance today and looked an out and out galloper when winning a Kempton Mayor's listed race last time out. Leighton Aspel in the maroon jacket ahead of Agrapar, whose four wins have come in soft or heavy ground and a winner here on the flat in May and Lamy Surge at the back, a, a grade one winner at Aintree in the past and over in France. So turning right-handed now and about to race uphill towards their third flight, the World's End, and Adrian Heskin for the McNeil family from Papagana. Agrapar in third and Lamy Serge as they take that one. Soon on towards the next, the World's End by three quarters of a length to Papagana on takeoff. World's End just had put in a short stride and Papagana right alongside on landing. Agrapar back in third under visiting Irish rider Davy Russell riding for Nick Williams who has a great record in this race winning three times with uh, Reb de Sivilla as they round this turn now into the home straight and two flights ahead of them. The world's end by a half length to Papagana. Three lengths away to Agrapar and Lamy Serge, Nico de Boinville still holding Lamy Serge together at the back. On now towards flight number six. Twelve in all, so nearly half the jumping completed. Far side the world's end of Papagana. Gonna take it together followed by Agrapar and Lamy Surge. And so they've got uh, just over a circuit to go in this race, which has been won by some of the staying hurdle greats in recent years, the likes of Big Bucks and Rev de Civila, Thistlecrack, you know what I mean, Harry, Sam Spinner, and 12 months ago by Paisley Park, who went on to win. So everything going sensibly at the moment. We're at the world's end setting the pace ahead of Papa Garner. I suppose the only jockey who may feel a little uncomfortable, Jim, at the moment is Nico de Boinville on Lamy Serge. Yeah, he's taken a stronghold. That's typical of him. And he also just tends to just step away to his right, to his left, sorry, over hurdles. It's, it's not cost him anything yet. They haven't really set sail for home in earnest. They'll do that after they've gone down this side of the track and then turned up Swindley from Swindley Bottom again. Well, it's as you were because the World's End leads the way, leading Papa Ghana. Lovely uh, settled rhythm from Agrapar under Davy Russell and Lamy Serge. He uh, takes up the rear. So, as the four of them head over that flight of hurdles, let's go back to Simon. Going to set the target here. A length or so ahead of Papa Ghana as they make this long run down to Swinley Bottom with four flights left to jump. The World's End. Papagana, Agrapar held on to by Davy Russell in third and finally Lamy Serge who'd be about eight or nine lengths behind the leader. So into the final mile now, the final third of the race, swinging right-handed at the lowest point on the race course and the world's end continuing to serve it up to them. Leads by nearly two lengths now to the Mayor Papagana, who's nudged along into in second place by late Nasbel. Agrapar goes well in third, and then Lamy Serge. Uphill now towards the fourth last. The world's end, and Adrian Heskin. 
Papagana and Leighton Aspel in second place. The world's end over well from Papagana. Agrapar, the mud lover, back in third and then Lamy Surge on towards three out. The world's end comes in to take it on a good stride, better than Papagana, who was slow there and fell four or five lengths behind the leader. Agrapar and then Lamy Surge. So racing on now towards the home turn as they're inside the final three and a half furlongs in the marsh hurdle the long walk and it's the world's end can he make all the running can he stay in front here papagana lamy surge making good progress round the inside and agrapar is out wider the world's end is the one to catch as they turn for home with two flights left to jump the world's end gets a shake of the reins lamy surge making a tremendous comeback here on the far side jumping it second there and lamy surge has come cantering through to challenge the world's end then papagana and agrapar lamy surge off the course for 580 days coming towards the last flight in the hands of nico de boinville shifts to the left ahead of the world's end then papagana and then after that is agrapar as they race up the hill lamy surge is entitled to get tired the world's end is coming back at him lamy surge idly in front and the world's end is going to mug him in the final 50 yards the world's end sticks on better larry surge appeared to have it at his mercy only just clinging on for second possibly ahead of papagana and then agrapar